All right, I'm getting to the point to where I'm just about done here. I've done a test run on the boiler here, and when I open the valve, it blows a lot of steam out. I might do another test run just to put it on camera. And right now, I'm working on the valve right here. This is going to open and close. And as it opens, the exhaust will come out there, and when it closes, um, it, it's going to, that's when this is forced forward to spin the flywheel. Okay. Can't never get the camera to cooperate. So what I've got here is this is my next, my other actuating rod and linkage. You'll notice on the flywheel right here, I've got a a roller attached to it now. And this this other tubing will be mounted right next to this tubing, right about this area somewhere. And then when this roller comes down, it's going to hit the actuator, forcing this open. And just as it gets open, this wheel will clear that and with a spring this will be forced back closed forcing the flywheel on around again and it will just re keep repeating that motion as steam's forced through hopefully hopefully this works if it don't I'm not sure what else I'm going to do I'll have to come up with a different design but I have I think this will work I have faith so I just wanted to throw that on there. All right, this part I'm going to try to show you here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it real well or not. This is my valve for the exhaust here. It's on a spring. I haven't got hooked to my rod yet because I'm still figuring that part out. But I've got all the linkage and everything else figured out. So I'm gonna act, I'm gonna act like this is on a spring, so you can see how it works down here. I got this roller that's got that runs into this end here, and this part, since it's on a spring, it's gonna reload this backwards every time. So as this comes down and hits it, it pushes it forward, which pushes that forward and opens that. And then as it comes on around, it comes up and clears it. And when it clears it, the spring will push it back. And it'll be set for the next time it comes around. Just like this. Kind of a tricky design. Uh, I don't even know if it'll work yet. It looks like it should, as long as I don't push it back too far, but my spring will control how far it goes back, so I shouldn't have that problem, it's just I'm pushing it too far. It's only going to move that far, should hit, there we go, just as it comes, just as it clears the end of its road here starts on its downward path it should hit this push it forward open this that way um, it allows it instead of pushing steam up this way it all comes out this way as it exhausts I hope it works if it don't I'll have to figure out something else and I've done got more hours in this part than I do the whole thing <laughs> so we'll keep moving forward this is the end of my linkage I gotta hook it up to here somehow I'm hoping this don't travel too far for this 
if it does, that's going to be a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm going to figure something out. That's where it stops, so. That should be perfect. I mean, right there. So that's got her opened up that far. That should be perfect. So we'll see. Alright, I think I figured it out. I'm pretty excited at this point. But I got my spring and linkage hooked up. Now let's still need to do a little tweaking, don't get me wrong. But I think I got it. I'm gonna have to tighten everything up real quick. All right. <clears throat> See if I can stay out of the shadow here. But I'm just turning it slowly here. Probably won't move much faster than that anyway. Uh, I still got to do some tweaking because it's not hitting exactly right. This thing here, my my clamp here, keeps moving on me. I gotta come up with a better clamp right here because it just won't stay right in line exactly. And it's running by hand like that, but who knows if it'll run. Probably won't. I'm going to have to do some tweaking, but I'm getting there.